All right, we are going to add some fractions with unlike denominators now. Um, and unlike ways we've done it in the past, in this situation we're going to use a different style called crisscross style. So rather than find common denominators, we're just going to use this crisscross style to immediately get the result. And then we'll take a look at whether or not we need to simplify. So here's how crisscross style works. To do crisscross style, I'm going to use the denominator of this first fraction, and I'm going to multiply it by the numerator of the second. So 5 times 2 is worth 10. Then I'm going to take the denominator of the second fraction, and I'm going to multiply it by the numerator of the first. It's going to be a 3. So for crisscross style, I'm going to have 3 plus 10. That's going to be my new numerator. And my bottom is just going to be the product of these two denominators. So for my denominator down here, I'm just going to do 5 times 3 which is going to get me 15. So the answer to these two fractions added together is 13 fifteenths. Let's try it again. So same thing. I'm going to be circling my second denominator. It's going to get multiplied by the 2. That's going to be an 8. I'm going to multiply my first denominator by the 1. It's going to get me 7. And my final numerator it's going to be 8 plus 7 on top. And my denominator, once again, 7 times 4, which is 28. So my grand total, 8 plus 7, 15, 28. So last example, I have 4 fifths plus 1 sixth. So I'm going to multiply the 5 times 1. That's going to be a 5. I am going to multiply the 6 times 4. That's going to be 24. And my numerator is now going to be 24 plus 5. And my denominator, 5 times 6, is 30. So I'm going to get a grand total of 29 over 30. Now none of these could be reduced. And this is really a really good uh, format and style to use, especially when we know that we're not going to be able to reduce anything.